In the United States, over 300,000 women get breast augmentation every year. It's one of the most popular procedures that's done in all of breast surgery by board certified plastic surgeons. And just like any other plastic surgery procedure done by real board certified plastic surgeons, it has potential real risks and real great benefits. One of these complications and potential risks is a capsular contracture. And joining me today, obviously, is Dr. Hildago and his co-author, uh, Dr. Andrew Weinstein. So, David, tell us, what is a capsular contracture? Rod, capsular contracture, as we call it, is when the body essentially overheals around the breast implant and the scar tissue that normally forms and holds the implant in place gets thicker. And when it does that, it gets, it starts to contract, it squeezes the implant, it changes the shape of the breast and the breast feels hard. And it happens in about 5% of women. 5%, that's right. So Andrew, what changes to the surgical norm did you investigate that Dr. Hidalgo just mentioned? So we performed a retrospective cohort study of all patients in Dr. Hidalgo's practice who underwent surgical treatment of grade a Baker grade a three and four capsular contracture after primary breast augmentation over a 10 year period. Patients were treated using conventional techniques either with or without ADM and the primary outcome was treatment success defined as Baker grade two or better. So tell me what you did, David, in, in doing this and, and what is an ADM? Uh, how, how does that change? Uh, when, what did you used to do? Well, the conventional treatment, if a patient gets a capsule, is to go back to surgery, remove the capsule, put a new implant in, and essentially that's it. The problem with that, what we found in this study, is that 70% of the time that will work. And if you're in that 30% where it comes back, the next time it only works 60%. If it comes right. back again, 50%. So our conventional methods are not very good, and that's where the ADM concept comes in. T tell us about ADM. What, what does that mean and how did you think of using that? Um, ADM is, means a, a cellular dermal matrix. That's what ADM means. And it's a tissue derived product either from humans or there's a porcine type. And it's the dermis uh, from the skin of these sources. And it's like a fabric and it has no cells. And when you put it in the body, your own cells populate it and it becomes integrated into your own tissues. So in the results of this study, their success rate was tremendously high. Tell, tell us about that. Um, well, we found that uh, if you use ADM, the success rate is about 97%. Wow. Um, so it's very impressive, but there are some problems with ADM. What, what, what problems did you see, although obviously very infrequently? Well, actually, the, the, the problems are not in using it itself because it, despite the fact that it takes an hour longer on each side, on each breast, yeah. and it prolongs the surgery considerably, the, the downside and the problems from using it are, are virtually nil. The problems are it's super expensive. Right. Um, and, and again, it, it uh, takes longer in surgery. But on the other hand, it saves the, the procedure, the person probably one or two operations in most cases, right? It does. I mean, we found that the, the, the most vexing part of capsular contracture is if you get it again, you know, most patients, if you get it once and you fix it, they're like totally fine with that. But if it, it keeps coming back and you use the same tool, it doesn't work. Uh, there, a frustration um, uh, builds up. So, Andrew, tell us about some of the key findings in the study. Sure. Uh, so the key findings uh, among the 180 patients included in this study, the ones that we found who were most likely to fail conservative treatment alone had either bilateral capsular contracture or a previous history of, of a failure of treatment. Mm -hmm. um, whereas those who received ADM was able to have successful treatment nearly 100% of the time. So seeing this, we uh, created a capsular contracture treatment algorithm. Right. When evaluated using the patients in our cohort, uh, we found that the treatment algorithm had a success rate of over 85% with long-term follow-up. We found that, you know, you can't do this in everybody for, for the reasons we mentioned. It's expensive, takes longer. But uh, we found that in patients who have had a previous failure or patients who start off with capsules on both sides, this is definitely the way to go. Yeah, uh, this is a phenomenal article and it's a true paradigm shift. So I congratulate both of you for this innovative incredible study that really is going to be a game changer and a practice changer for all of us in plastic surgery.